I'm Erin Cerise, and I'm a film studies major. I'm heading into the last semester of my bachelor's this fall, and that's kind of exciting. But, uh, you know, funny thing about that, even after years of studying all sorts of things about movies and how they work and the what the makes them out of the things, the things that make the movies, would you believe I still don't feel like I know enough about movies? When you think about it, it's not that surprising. There are so many movies from so many different countries and studios and movements and everything that even a person who did nothing but watch movies from sun up to sundown every day, every goddamn day, would never even hope to watch half the number of features that have ever been made. Never mind short films, TV shows, video games, web series, any other kind of filmic media that you might be interested in if you're a film fan. It's this constant dilemma. Casual and hardcore movie fans alike have to pick and choose all the time between movie A and movie B, and movie B and movie C. Years on end, gradually, gradually sifting through hundreds of thousands of movies, past and present, as they keep answering the same question. What do I watch next? This process can end up leaving a lot of movies on a person's to-watch pile for ages. Not because they don't want to see them, but just because there's no time for one person to see everything they might ever want to see. It's just not physically possible. So one way a lot of people end up narrowing their viewing choices down is by leaning towards movies made by specific filmmakers. You know, if you liked one movie that a certain person had a big hand in creating, there's a good chance you might like something else they worked on too. It's logic, bitches. You have favorite actors, favorite screenwriters, favorite cinematographers, and of course, favorite directors. All of these are common things that people consider when choosing what movies to watch. And if you go into enough people's filmographies in depth like that, their works help you build up a bank of preferences and cinematic literacy that's unique to you as a viewer. Of course, there are other ways to define your taste, like finding preferred genres, preferred themes, preferred filmmaking styles, preferred number of explosions, I don't know. But I feel that focusing on a creator brings an intriguing human element to the viewing process. The more movies you watch that are made by the same person, the more you feel like, in a weird kind of way, you're getting to know that person. Or at least the idea of them. Maybe you don't know them personally, but the more of an artist's works you consume, the more you get a sense of their tics, their tendencies, their pet ideas, their flair, their style. They're just something je ne sais quoi that gives their work a distinct and unique voice all its own. Oh my god. So what I want to do with this series is seek out those voices and explore them. I want to single out one director at a time, watch all their feature films in the order they were made, and try to discover that je ne sais quoi for myself. If there's one thing I've learned from my time in film studies so far, it's that while broad knowledge is great, it's super useful, and everyone who studies film should have it, going into one thing in depth can be incredibly rewarding as well. And I hope to share that feeling with all you out there in YouTube land. Maybe you've heard of some of the directors I cover on the show, and others maybe you won't have. Maybe you're a die-hard cinephile and you want to see how my impressions of these directors stack up against yours. Or maybe you've just always wanted to get into a certain director and you just don't know where to start yet. I know I'm doing this because I don't know where to start. I'm, I'm just a person, don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. So hopefully as I explore all these directors, we'll all end up a little more enlightened for it. And we'll all get through some more of our own what do I watch next piles. Everyone wins! So join me next time for the first episode of my epic director quest as we begin with a foray into one of the biggest blind spots of my movie watching career to date. The films of Stanley freaking Kubrick.